Sheila can't be that changed if all she's ever been is shake through with Deacon. He keeps talking about she's changed. She keeps talking about she changed. I said, we ain't seen her go to no therapy session. We ain't seen her pay for anything. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chess. This is for the Bold and Beautiful October 11th, 2023. Okay, so look, they stay saying somebody done changed. Oh, she's changed. I believe in her. Don't you trust me? And all this other extra stuff. That ain't going to erase the fact that um sheila did what she did regardless of if she is changed or not and she ain't changed it's only a matter of time for something to set her off but okay on today's episode hope doesn't understand she's still questioning deacon because she's confused she don't understand how deacon could be involved with that she said i don't understand how you could be involved with that i said she calls she little that she calls she little that (laughs) <laughs> she don't understand but um Finn was still a force to creation i said now why is he still there and then rj ended up coming in and asked what was going on why is he there is he looking for a ridge and all that and he was like no he had to tell something to, to uh hope and then they started talking about the lady in his life as well as telling him that you know he needs to get steph he need to be focused on getting Steffi back the only way he could do that is getting rid of sheila and all that and then Finn started doing that divorce again Talking about, you know, that's all he's been focused on. And he determined to get his family back and all this other stuff. Lee, we got to talk about Lee. Because Lee over here talking crazy folks. Talking about folks are disgrace. It's a disgrace how you talk to that girl. Like, she did something to you. Now, whatever beef you and her mama got, that's between you and her mama. <laughs> but, look, she talks so crazy to her. And she actually going to write the type of doggone letter. I said, first of all, she don't run nothing. I thought this was going to be completely different. I thought that maybe, you know, they was all cool with each other, Lee. And her sister and her niece was cool with each other. And when she came, she she just didn't want her involved because maybe the Sheila thing, maybe because, you know, maybe they got a history. But no, she over here talk crazy about this girl mama stuff. <laughs> she said, you yeah. she said her mama was a disgrace. I said, you can't go around talking to people like that. But Lee told Luna that she's not welcome there. You're not welcome here. People always trying to tell somebody where they welcome here. You don't own nothing. You don't run nothing around here. But yeah, uh, she said that she's not welcome there. Did your mama put you up to this and all this? I think she mentioned something about um, her mother messing around or having an affair with her co-worker or somebody she worked with, a doctor or something like that. And if, and it made me think back because I was like, wait a minute now. Where did Lee come from? <laughs> Look, I'm so behind. I ain't even noticed that. Remember how uh, Finn had came on the scene and... And um, he was saying something. Did he know his parents was coming to town? I think so. His parents were been coming to town. And I said, well, did she decide to stay or what? I forgot. But, yeah, um, she was basically confronting this girl. She think they up to something. And and I was like, I don't know. Y'all think this going to be a deeper storyline or what? But Hope asked if it's another setup. She asked Deacon, is this another setup? Is you trying to do basically the same thing? Be a de-? I said, if it was a setup. Why would he say that in front of Sheila? Why would he admit that in front of Sheila? I said, <laughs> she's talking about some. is this another setup? She still can hear you. Why would he be like, yeah, it's a setup? Then she going to know. <laughs> talking about, is it a setup? Deacon tells Hope that Sheila has changed. Um, You gave me a chance. I'm changed. You the only one believed in me and all this other stuff. Finn tells RJ that he going to get Steffi back. Um, And Lee tells Luna her mother disgrace. I said, no, nah, now. <laughs> I said, Lee tripping. I wrote it down. I said, Lee is tripping. She's talking crazy to the girl. She getting sad. She's like, please, please. I said, why you beg her? She don't run nothing. <laughs> Hope trying to get Deacon to see how wrong it is. He ain't listening. He's standing by Sheila. I said, look, he actually standing by her. He ain't walk away from her. And I said again, how changed can Sheila be if all she's been is shaped up with Deacon? You've been in the house chilling with this man. How you change? <laughs> in fact, like, then she recently was stalking Finn. <laughs> But I said, who Lee thinks she is talking to that girl like that? She thinks that um, Luna and her mother are up to something. And I said, okay. Is there more to the story? This went completely left. I was like, I thought when she saw her, she was going to be mad because she don't want her nowhere near them because of the whole Sheila thing and, um, you know, the involvement Finn already has. But she was like, um, Finn's in-laws and all this other stuff. I said, girl. <laughs> and somebody brought up a good point because they was like, okay. Uh, why do you have all uh, they thought that she had something against the forces too they was like but you want your son back with steffi but no she just think that they trying to run a con or something her and her mom her and her sister don't get along basically but yeah she thinks they up to something sheila believes that hope and finn will accept their relationship i said these folks both of these folks is delusional at this point don't they know that now even if they did accept the relationship now they're gonna ask they're gonna have questions in the back of their head 
how long has this been going on? Because Reed's supposed to admit to Brooke how long it's been going on. Then they're going to be like, okay, let's do some research. Let's find out some information. Then they're going to find out that him and the dude either went to school together, grew up together, was best friends, friends, whatever. They're going to do that little digging. And then they're going to find out he had a whole little meeting with this dude in public. They're going to find that out. And then they're going to use that against him. And he going to jail. He going to jail right along with, um, what's her name, Sheila. They both going to jail. I said, you done messed up now. You done messed up now. I guess he figured, they did figure they can't hide it for long. I said, right. Because y'all stay in each other's face. They definitely wasn't going to be able to hide, to, uh, hide it for too much longer, though. But, um. They show Hope just walking in Steffi and Finn's house. And I said, mm, mm, mm. See, this is why you don't put that much distance between you and your significant other. Because if they have an affair, oh, my freaking goodness. Oh, my goodness. But, uh, yeah, she just walked in. And basically, they get to talking about, you know, Deacon and Sheila and everything. They don't understand. Then it went it went off after they show RJ and Luna. RJ and Luna kiss because uh, she, he seen her letter. Saying that she resigned and she gonna actually type up the letter. Girl, she lead her on that. Who is Lee? What she gonna do? Go tell that that you up to something? Now if you ain't actually up to nothing, you ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> but maybe she got a point. Maybe she know her folks better than we do. <laughs> but RJ kissed Luna. They kiss and he saw he not letting her go anywhere. I said, Well, that's that on that. I said, All she gotta do is tell the history between Lee and all these other folks, but that's it. Y'all let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, this is have a great rest of the day and be safe.